Okay, uh, so, uh, I forgot the name of this. Star Neoville. Uh, I can't spell it, so let me look at Facebook. Stern Neoville. Stern Neoville. Stern Neoville. Okay, so, uh, Stern Neoville problem. <coughs> Why? It's different. Okay, Sturm the Oval problem. Okay. So, uh, what, what's a Sturm the Oval problem? Well, it, it's actually uh, uh, the opposite of what we, we've been doing. We, we just figured out that for endpoint value problems, you may have no solution, or sometimes you may have infinite many solutions, or you may have just this one single solution, right? So, a uh, Sturm the Oval problem has to deal with the following question. Question: When, for for what value, for what value of lambda, value of lambda, does does y double prime <coughs> plus lambda y equal to zero with y of 0 equal to 0, and y of L equal to 0, have infinitely many solutions. That, that's the Sturm-Liouville problem in our context, which is not the general Sturm-Liouville problem. If you go to Wikipedia and search for Sturm Neoval problem, it will be it will be completely different. Okay, um, so so it, it, let's think about the following: Isn't y equal to zero a solution satisfying everything? Right? If you just set y as zero, that's that satisfies this, that satisfies this, that satisfies this. So it satisfies everything, right? So one terminology that you have to learn when dealing with the sturm liouville problem is that we call this the trivial solution. <coughs> and uh, by the way, this will always have a solution because we do have one solution at least, right? So we know that this equation will always have the solution. So out of the three possibilities, uh, uh, one of the three cases, you may have one solution, or no solution, or infinitely many. Uh, there's no case where you have no solution. It's either, this, this problem either has one solution, or infinitely many solutions. Does that make sense? Okay? It should be either of the two. And among them, if, it, if this question has one solution, what does that mean? The only solution is? This one, this trivial solution, y equals to zero. Okay. So uh, the, the general sturm liouville problem, actually uh, not the general, a slightly more general one, uh, it looks like this. Uh, so you move this y double prime to the other side, and you write down negative y double prime equals to lambda y. And uh, that's how people write. And uh, because this is the second order, if it has infinitely many solutions, uh, it will be just like our previous one. It will be some multiple of a sine or a cosine, whatever. Okay? And uh, uh, so the solution of this will be some sine function or a cosine function, if there is ma infinitely many. And that function that satisfies this one is called the eigenfunction for this sturm liouville problem. And the value of lambda that satisfies it is called the eigenvalue of the sturm liouville problem. Okay. And uh, this is still not the most general version. The, the most general version is uh, it's the most general version is Right. 
So the more general one is, uh, it's like negative d dx of px d dx plus another rx applied to y is equal to y. Is that cool? Yeah. So, uh, so uh, this one is the special case. Lambda, I sorry. This one is the special case where p is one and r is zero. Okay. So that that's the most general Sturm Liouville problem. So uh, it, it's, it actually has more context. But for for our class, uh, so so if you uh, Google and look for a Sturm Liouville problem, it, it's going to contain a lot of other. Uh, very hard questions about this. But for our case, it will just be this question. Uh, always be this one, the most simplest term. And uh, I guess we don't have time. I, I, we, do, we do have time, right? We do have time to, to just go. Uh, no. no, we don't have time? It's okay, we don't have time. All right. Okay, then that's, that's it. I, I'll show you another example.